Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day, and today we've got another ranked gameplay for you all. But it is talking about not how the situation of ranked is, what some tips are for you to climb. It's literally talking about one of my favorite, if not my favorite thing in ranked right now. And I think in esports, that is just taken to the top of the ladder. That is that is Ferocity Grover. He is nuts. And I'm here to show you guys off uh, this healer who is not even a healer. You could take him on your team and carry frag out. This is literally the damage dealer healer. This guy barely needs to go to the point because he can two-shot most people you're going to be fighting. Who needs to heal your tanks when you kill the enemy team by yourself? That's that's basically what Grover's bringing to the table. I'm grabbing Wrecker, and finally in this ranked game, we also have a good split in Wrecker. Of course, if you've been keeping up with my placements, guys, uh, I am in Platinum 2 right now. Uh, Le Plat Le LeBron's Reigns is, is in La Platinum. Yes, I know. That's a little crazy. Uh, don't worry, though, guys. Remember, as I say, bronze is not a placement. It's a mentality. It's a lifestyle. And uh, we stay strong there. Kevin goes down. A bad flank by Anjoxus. Now we got the cripple onto the Makoa, but we'll go long range for the Ruckus. As you can tell, see those big scaling numbers onto the Ruckus? What happens is Wrecker... Uh, applies on a scaling like Rover's weapon uh, in a scaling way to uh, personal shields it would appear uh, I don't know this like as a fact but from what I see this is what happens you see the generals there take him down he doesn't know what's what's got him we've taken down the healer we've taken down the flank we are two for one the flank coming back at us he could be in trouble here I miss my vine though got to heal myself back up oh potato aim by this androx is big time gonna vine away make things a little bit more complicated hit him once in the air hit him another time get the cripple he's floating with the reversal take him down three kills for me in this engagement as you can see i haven't healed my teammates once but we've won the fight because literally i'm just a big body i'm solo healing myself and i'm just doing that much damage so guys just to let you all know this is legit stuff especially on timber mill where snipers and everything are good now what i'm doing here is i'm zoning out i kind of just want to make sure this bomb king can't come back in it's kind of a little bit of a difficult spot though i'm questioning like do i go back to my other perch my other ledge uh, because you're even that much more safer if you win that first fight you're that much more safer. Notice how I'm hitting for that 578 solid on the Makoa. Uh, but as the Ruck is, when he puts his personal shields, I'm, I'm hitting for more than that. Um, and we're going to take a look at that throughout this game. But that's pretty much what I think is happening. Going back to that point. Um, Wrecker on Grover against like a Ruckus. And Torval is actually pretty decent. Against just like a Barrick. Um, uh, uh, I was going to say a Nanara. Yeah, no, not against a Nanara. Uh, against Fernando. Not as sexy because that doesn't scale very well. It's only 548 for Wrecker 1. And that's just not that much damage. Um... Typically, you want to get Wrecker onto somebody who... Where the heck did this Androxus go? What? It's not dead? Where is he? Um, yeah, Ruck is getting the fire onto me, trying to go near the victor here and finish him off. But yeah, LeBron's reigns. I'm the platinum, but, uh, you know, it's okay. We cool. We cool like that, guys. Remember, you know, it's it's a placement. Uh, it, it is... It is uh, it's a lifestyle. And we just taking we taking the bronze life to the platinum scene. That's all. We just spread in the love. We spread in the love. We spread in the movement, guys. You know, I've really actually loved it. All the interaction on Twitter. A lot of people have been embracing the LeBron's thing, uh, and I find that really cool. I mean, because you know the way I embraced it, I found it really fun. As I'm gonna chase down this Andrew. I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you. Hey, Grover, people running from Grover. Andrew running from Grover. Would you ever see the day? Um, and now he's coming to fight me back. Trying to I missed the cripple here. Oh boy. One v one. Come on. Hit him once. There's that reversal. Use the vine. Get out of the way. He's dashing over. Gonna chase his... But oh, never mind. Oh, ho, ho. Yusuf with the shot. Takes him out of the ultimate. That's big time there. Get the cripple onto the BK. He poppy bombs away. But we got so much damage in this fight. Look at that. 900 right there. It is just enough to... to you know, you're hitting like a bomb king. You're hitting like a Drogos. And range is the game here. Going into the whirlwind just so they cannot kill me. And go into the... Just to create a big body, right? Because if I block the shots, I'm getting healed. It's 2,500 health a second. So there's no way they can beat me down in this level of the game. No cauterized threes available. Ruckus got me, though. Here's my heal up. I don't want to use it quite yet. Don't need it quite yet. He's coming to chase me. Probably not a good night to box. But as you can see, that 686, it does scale. There it is. 708, it scales. Where if you see I'll hit the Makoa shield, it'll be kind of like a standard number. Um, it scales based on uh, his distance, which is different. And Ruck is chasing me the whole time. We get a 2-0 start. Solid freaking start, guys. So, as you can see, Frosty Grover is nuts. Now, um, again, I was saying I love the way you guys are embracing on Twitter. By the way, if you guys want to grab merchandise, I have that for a few days. It's kind of embrace the meme. Uh, it's fun. I thought it would be a fun thing to do. And, honestly, I got, like, two hoodies and a, a shirt. I got a, a shirt for Jairez Martini, who made fun of me about going into bronze. 
Uh, and that's what started this whole thing. So I feel like that's a funny way to bring it back full circle. Uh, but I love the way you guys are embracing it. A lot of people are actually re being like, yo, Rain, they actually really am down to be bronze. Like, I feel good about being bronze now. You know, I'm in bronze with you. <laughs> now, I'm not always in bronze, but, you know, I'm representing that bronze life. Bronze is, is, like I said, you take it anywhere. So don't worry about that, guys. Have fun. Enjoy your placements. Um, it's been really, really fun to be playing these ranked games. I'm having a blast in ranked. I don't know if you guys are. Let me know below. If you're enjoying it, but I certainly am trying to get a couple shots on the co. I can see he missed the hook there, but you can see he was really going for me. The Androxus is coming as well right away, trying to finish off the Grover, the sniper. One big shot. Can I get a second one? Ooh, Bomb King hits me with a bomb. Nice blossom. Get myself healthy. There he is. Finish off the kill. Here's the Makoa. He's crippled. Don't necessarily want to trade. I'm kind of low, but I'm healing myself back up. Big blossom on a Fernando as well. And so we've kind of dealt with all of our threats. Missed a couple axes there, but we have the point. As of now, there's the Bomb King. He goes down thanks to our victor. Another big key that we found, and Nick and myself, we did some placements last night. And, and Nick was kind of talking about what he did wrong. You know, he wasn't really happy about his placement. And he was kind of talking about what he did wrong. This is high-risk pretty here. And he was saying he didn't. He tried to control the draft a lot. You know, sometimes higher-level players, people who know a lot, they'll try and be like, yo, you pick this. No, we, you can't pick your victor. No, we need a Bomb King here. No, we need a this here. Look at this damage, guys. 11-22. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I just had to stop and, 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 and say thank you for that huge shot by Yusuf. Takes down the Andro. This guy is nuts. The Yusuf is nuts. The Andro, maybe not having the best game, but our Knessa is nuts right here. He first picked her, and that was, thank goodness for that. Um, but yeah, like, you know, he was saying, you know, I can't try to control it. Because sometimes in ranked, because you're not esports, you're not everybody doing the perfect thing. Um, it's way, <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's way better to get somebody who honestly has a has themselves feeling good about the champion they're playing. I'd rather have a great victor than an average or bad bomb king on my team, right? He could be that much more effective. May not be the perfect pick, but a bad plan well executed is much better than a great plan poorly executed. That's what we say in our castle. I, I, I kind of hearken to that. Genos ultimate actually going to grab one. So zero two picks up a kill through time and space. And so just remember that, guys. Pick something you're good. If you feel like your team is missing something, try to flex it yourself. But forcing somebody to play something they're not comfortable uh, is probably a bad call it's not gonna get you to be that successful anyways uh we had him taking down yusuf with the like moving snipe this guy's playing sick uh going for the morale boost too mount uh, morale boost as well this is an item that for grover in this ferocity really does well because you can get your whirlwinds all the time as you can see here i'm cc immune and so is the uh fernando so we basically heal up and we ignore all of that king bomb pressure the other key about all of that as well is uh the fact that grover gets so much damage off he, I get a lot of ultimate charge. Look at how much each big hit that I do. Look at that. That's a ton of ultimate charge uh, to my to my name here. And that means I can keep whirlwinding. And, you know, the cool thing is whirlwind, because it's such an early game legend uh, kind of ultimate, because it, it drops off with Cauterize quite a bit, Cauterize 3 specifically. When you do morale boost early on, uh, you get a lot more value of it, you know, over the course of, of the game. Because you just, you just burn out three, four, five, six of them. Uh, you know, within the first 10 minutes. And you're like, man, I've uh, I've really done a crap ton of healing. In fact, a lot of Grover's healing is, is a result of this. So look, at I'm just gaining 7% off of some of these shots right here. 7% total. That's nuts. Already back at my ult, guys. I used it like, what, 20 seconds ago? 30 seconds ago? Already 100% back at my ult. That is a uh, morale boost for you. And morale boost 2, morale boost 3, even better. Andrew picks up the kill. On a Sabuski. So yeah, see I'm scaling on the Ruckus personal shield, so that is something good to know about Frosty. And see, that's just a standard 825 on Makoa. Um, that's how it works on Fernando. That's how it works on Barrack. Uh, but Torval Ruckus, there in that different kind of category here. Makoa trying to flank me out. Got the cripple. He's not going to chase me down. I've got my whirlwind. Actually going to go into it here, and that is why. Why not? Because you know what? I've worked hard for this money. I've worked hard for this money. Trying to go on the Genos as well. He's doing a lot of damage. Good void grip. Missed my one. Missed my second. Actually, the second doesn't miss. I get hooked out by Makoa, and Genos allows himself to heal back up. And actually go down. Hyoran takes me down. And the Ruckus Hexa firing. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to push this over time, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to grab the probably the Record 3 first. Again, I want to deal with shields. I think shields are so important in this meta. If you guys don't deal with shields, especially in ranked, you're going to be in trouble. Um... There's just too many characters that thrive off of buying enough time, and healers like Genos, who heal up uh, really a lot of healing over time, through shielding, helps them to get the cauterize off, delays you guys being able to burst down, you know, it just it just exacerbates your problem, so make sure you have a good split between cauterize and record, that is more important than ever in this meta, for sure. Uh, so, you know, heading into this next match, 
It's been a long day, man. I have been I have been having a long day, but it's nice to play some ranked. It really is nice to play some ranked. Uh, going with this build that I'm also running, if you guys are interested in that one, uh, it's 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 basically off of two things. You reduce the cooldown of crippling throw. I have that up to level four um, by two seconds, um, and I think that's an eight second cooldown, so it becomes a six second cooldown. I believe that's what it is. And then the other thing is you have a 40% cooldown reduction card on eliminations, which means that Grover, all of his cooldowns, I think Blossom's 12 seconds or 10 seconds. Uh, you know, your your Vine is right around there as well. Uh, you've got your your Crippling Throw in a bit of a different spot. Fernando already getting pretty low here. As you can see, Wrecker starting to tick through. I think it's the Makoa who has Wrecker getting kind of low there. I want to actually jump over and help him get stunned out by the bomb king the grumpy bomb unfortunately and here's the ruckus he's kind of doing a little job flanking but they've they've taken me away and now mccoe has gotten him over to that side and ruckus is firing on me this is ah, uh, this is a little oh no zero two picks it up oh and this is the danger zone are you kidding me Kanessa, is she gonna lose this fight oh my oh my god no they've wiped us three one we're about to win Ooh, this is the scary part right here uh, this is, we need to get back on the point. I gotta see if I can get here. I'm just gonna run. 89%. Here we go. On the mounts. Here we go. Oh, no. Makoa. Oh, man. I can't get even back. M7 is, uh, on this ruckus. Taking me down. And he just finishes off the kill. So now we're 3-2. These guys can push. It can swing just like that, guys. And especially in these high-level games, you know, give these guys a chance. And give them an inch, they take a mile. So we have to really focus on defending here. Hopefully, we're able to do that. I trust our team, but, man, that's really frustrating. Already pick off the Androxus, though, so that's good. Just trying to basically focus more on the Bomb King as well. I've kind of ignored him that point fight. Went for the Ruckus, the Makoa. I didn't pay attention to the Squishies very often. Big time kill onto the Genos, who was staying alive a lot. Makoa seems to be really focusing me. I go in there thinking it's a safe haven running from Makoa. I run into a Hexafire. Nice. Good luck. That's that's good luck charm. <laughs> oh, God. Anywhere else, Rain Day. Anywhere else, LeBrons. And you, and you, and you good, baby. And you good. Knessa saying, stop staggering. And I agree, we are kind of staggering. So I'm not heading out there. I'm just throwing some of these guys. Trying to make sure we can go out as a group and just get some damage on the Makoa. Maybe I can get the Androxus here. Look at that. Yusuf already takes him down. And a Cursed Arm lost. That's big. Now, oh my god, look at this. Your boy, your Ruckus is down. I gotta see if I can heal the Barrack up. Whirlwind, it's time to do it. Gotta keep the Barrack alive. And uh, everyone can push and fight this. Hopefully we can get someone. We do take the Makoa down. So life is good. I know the Genos is running around. Miss him on the axe, though. Shucks. And it uh, looks like the Ruckus falls. So that was a good stabilization. We did it. And you know how fast I get my... Uh, you know how fast I get my thing, guys. You know how fast that goes. Genos actually shooting on me here. What? How? Huh? Huh? Here's Androxus. Let me just go ahead and finish this fight right now. Genos actually was shooting me. I couldn't even hit him for some reason. That was weird. Back up with the vine. Okay, there's one. There's one. Is he going down? This Genos has been a problem. I gotta figure. I'm focusing this guy a little bit because he's been he's been a problem. That's a good shot right there. But oh, now he sees that he's out of the fight for at least a second. Now we're going in, trying to keep our Fernando alive. He's got his shield, but this is bad news, Barris. Let's get out of here. Come on, buddy. Try to throw a fade away axe. There's the hex of fire. We don't see it. Maybe he's gonna take Nando. No. Yeah, he got him. All right, it's okay. Maybe we get some damage off of it though. 978. That's solid. About 2,000 damage already in this fight right now. That would have killed him. Knessa hit the shot, though. Got the cripple under the ruckus. Now we finish him off. Yusuf gets the kill. He cannot use his aerial assaults, his uh, his movement skills, once he is crippled. So that's still a huge key of what Grover can do. Bomb King, he's stuck, too. Can't go anywhere. Boom. Love it. Moving slowly, slowly as well. And that's a good defense. So, you know, Grover, he brings so much offensively. He brings so much defensively. He doesn't bring the same amount of healing. So a lot of people were running with, like, a Genos. We see this in the high-level competitive. I mean, Grover was first picked today, guys. Now, it's not, you know, this isn't the pro, pro, pro league where we're having, you know, DreamHack Valencia, right? So we don't know if this will translate into the top, top tier, but against the pretty much the best players and the best teams in the world uh, in the PGS, Palms Global Series, he's literally right up there. Um, but what I am telling my tanks and people if you're playing with Grover is that, you know, Grover does that damage. He needs a little bit of time for him to get the damage off, to get some kills, to, to set up kills for you guys. And he's not going to, being on the point is probably the worst place for Grover to be until he has to be there. He's, he's that emergency burst healing. Um, and otherwise, let him do his thing. Get some damage off. I mean, this is, uh, this is paramount as you guys are looking at it here. We got to find a win. I need this ranked game exactly, guys. LeBron's needs to take the LeBron's lifestyle to platinum. Get one kill. 
A one shot, excuse me, onto the Androxus. That's already good. Big cripple onto Makoa. He's not in a good spot here. Does he have an Ancient Rage? Hit him once, hit him twice. That's a kill already. This is already value. And look at this, Fernando. He's going down. Uh oh. Hello, Androxus. Get a kill onto Kevin as well. Randy coming in big on these plays. Can we keep him alive? Yes, we can. Full heal. Let's go. Come on, Barrick. Come on, Barrick. We're going onto this Ruckus right now. We're going to chase him. We're going to chase this boy down. You guys going to fight me? Bomb King wants me as well. Oops. Now where you're running to. Fernando's there. And we're already 84% on the objective, guys. We have made them run around and wait for us. I get the Blossom. I got the Radius Increase. Can we get the Makoa? No Ancient Rage either. Oh, that's a poor look for him. He's crippled. Let's get BK. Let's go. And there's the Barrick. Uh-oh. Hexafire. No, not yet. Here it is. Okay, God. I thought he was going to do it. I thought I heard it. There it is. <laughs> Holy moly. Thank God we avoided it. Barrick's going to run onto the point. Ruckus has to aerial assault back. He's crippled. Can't go anywhere. Can't we finish him off? I'm trying to chase him down. Barrick on the objective. He's got to get back. He's like, oh, wait. I got to run away. <laughs> He's like, I'm running away. Wait a second. If I run away, we lose. I got to get back on the point. Oh, boy. That is that's some LeBron's gameplay right there, guys. Let me tell you something. Zero two. 2 you can join the bronze movement right now, my friend. You are dominating this. I got to give him the well done that you rock. Because, uh, man, that ultimate he hit, that was pretty hot. This gave them that round. Come on, the backside, Genos, and he, you're fluttery ass. Just kidding. That's pretty funny. Flutter. He's not really fluttery. He's stellar wing. Killer ultimate, though, bro. Good job to you guys. Uh, and uh, heck of a game. Heck of a game. A lot of fun. As you guys can see. You know, Grover works. 19 minute game, Timber Mill, but he has made me have fun playing Timber Mill again, especially on Timber Mill. I really find that whether you're countering, look at this damage 90,000 damage. I beat literally everyone in the game except the Ruckus and the Knessa by a large margin. More than the Victor, more than, you know, Nando, who does a crap ton of damage. Barrick does a crap ton of damage. Even beat him 13, 4, 15. And I got 34,000 healing on top of it. So basically what he does is you have a main healer like a Genos. He gets you that 140. And then Grover, he gives you 90, 100K damage. And then all of a sudden, he gives you an extra 30, 40,000 healing on top of it. Oh, it's killer, man. I also run with the uh, increased radius. My, my loadout will be in the... In the uh, in the comment section below, guys, so you can figure that out. Excuse me, in the description below, so check that out. Also, if you want to check out new LeBron's merch, go in the description below. Order that right now. Only on sale for nine more days, guys. I love you. Thanks for watching. Comment below what you thought about the video, and I'll see you all tomorrow. As always, remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you all next time.